What do you have sticking out of the motor? <laughs> <laughs> that is part of a compression tester onto an air hose. What I'm gonna do, I think a bent valve. I'm hoping that it pushed the valve up and then broke the rockers before it actually bent the valve because all I did was turn it over. But I think it bent the valve. So I'm gonna put some compressed air into it. If it does have a, uh, a uh, valve that's bent, I'll hear it coming out of the intake. If it don't, it'll hold pressure until I unhook the hose. Well, let's try this. Actually, also, as easy as this motor turns over, it'll probably turn the crank over. So, basically, uh, some kind of weird compression test is what we're doing here. Yeah, it's a, a very not professional compression test. <laughs> but it's hard to do a compression test when you don't have intake rockers. So we're going to pump it full of compressed air and see if it leaks. Let's do it. Obviously not on the ones that's pushing down on the, on the, on the exhaust valve right now, which are this one. Number three cylinders, we've got the exhaust up down right now. So we'll turn it over before we get to that one. But here oh, we go. No, no. I can still hear it. It's bad. Took a minute for it to all leak out. That's bad. It should hold air. Hmm. That truck didn't. So. You remember that Dodge? No, that was the compressor that wasn't holding it. And that truck also had, two, what, 250,000 miles? Yeah, so does this. This has brand new rings. <laughs> And it wouldn't leak out of the intake anyway. Head has to come off. Yep, head has to come off. She's got some bent valves in her. That's great. Uh, well, valves are cheap. Rockers aren't. You already knew you had to buy rockers, though. Yep. What's that 310 plus 150, 170? The, the rockers are right at 200 bucks for all of them. The uh, valves are eight. 30 a piece, right around 837, I think, or 833, one or the other, a piece there. That 16. means 270 bucks. No, he don't got to buy 16. Wes, he only has to buy eight. He only messed up one side. Yeah. So 270 bucks, and I need the tool to actually set these. That's another hundred. Couple hundred dollars. It's right here. See how these are off. One bucks. Yep. Don't know, That's what broke her. Well, we know this is the correct way. <laughs> Not necessarily. I mean, maybe. Oh, well, we're gonna. Oh, and the tool that I need to set those cam phasers is one hundred and ten dollars. Sounds fun. So, uh, everybody, go to the Patreon page. <laughs> yeah. Help your brother out. <laughs> We'll get it going. Eventually. There ain't no biggie. Oh well, yeah, I spent all the money I had getting this together. That's the cool thing about money, it keeps coming. But yeah, if you work for it. You do. True. Got a transmission I gotta do right now. There you go, sounds like valves to me. And I'm out here messing with this. Sounds like that transmission rebuild you're about to do is gonna buy some valves. Yeah. No, transmission I rebuild pay for my trip to the Carolinas. Well, I guess that's it. Head has to come off. Seems like we have bent valves. Oh yeah, did you get a video of all the rockers? Yeah, another video. Well here, let's show them again, because they're bad. 
Yeah, look at all those little bearings in there. Broke everything on that side. And apparently bent valves. But, shouldn't have done much more than that. Might have a little dent, a little dent on the piston or little pieces that it's messed up, but nothing little sandpaper can't fix. It'll get fixed. It just means it has lower compression, so we'll have to run higher boost. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. Is that all we're gonna do with this today? Yeah, that's... that's all we can do right now. I mean, there's no point pulling the hell off right now because I can't, I can't afford to get barrels for a week or so. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't take me two hours to pull that head off. When we start working on it again, I'll post the videos of it.